I use flash, natural light and sometimes both but when you look at my Instagram feed you probably have guessed that I chose my side. I prefer using flash most of the time but does strobes flash artificial lights make your pictures look better? Little disclaimer, the following statements are based on my choices, my thoughts, the type of art that I want to make, the type of images that I want to make. There is no right way or wrong way to do things, so please be sure to keep that in mind. Let's go on. I think this debate will never end. I still see tons of videos out there coming out talking about flash photography, artificial light, saying that you must master flash photography to be considered a professional photographer, which is... I think it's bullshit. The best light you can get is the one I'm fighting with right now to make this video. It's the light that is out there. So why do I love flash? Why do I use strobes on my personal work? This can be summarized in one word, control. I shoot on location, I work on tight schedules at horrible times and most of the time I have to work with what I have with the light. I have. When I'm working outside, a lot of times I have a flat light that gives me no contrast, no shadows, no depth, and I hate that. And when that happens, I have to deal with it. <laughs> Sometimes the magic happens. Light is how you want it. Light can even change drastically during a shoot. And you can make those pictures that will be hard to okay. replicate right, right. with strobes. Yes, I've talked about this already in the past. You can check out the link in the description box below. I check on my model's face how the shadows behave and this will give me an indication on how to place my model. If you are shooting during midday, check where your light source is. It will probably be very high up in the sky, so be sure to check those eye sockets, you don't want them to be black. So ask your model to slightly raise their chin to avoid that. You can also use the sun as a backlight for a great effect or have it on the side to outline your model's body. Every time I know I'm going to use my camera and only my camera, I do my best to schedule my shoot early morning or a few hours before sunset to have that beautiful soft light. Another thing that I love to do from time to time is to shoot against the sun to have this beautiful light flares coming into my lens. There are a lot of photographers that have built their entire career on natural light photography and there are still photographers nowadays that essentially work with natural light. Depending on the story you want to tell, the type of images you want to create, sometimes natural light is your best option. And of course, something that is worth to mention is that when working with natural light, you travel light. You have less gear on your back, and that's a cool thing. When I do have a flash or two in my bag, I personally know that I can face any types of situation. I've talked about this in the past already. I love going after that dramatic look, that dramatic lighting. I will put the link of this video somewhere. I started using strobes very early in my career and I do believe that it gives you a little bit more creative freedom when you have a situation where the weather is bad, the light is flat, you can give your image a little pop with the help of a flash. Sometimes underexposing your image and compensating with your flash to balance your shot helps bring out a little more details in the background that otherwise would have been lost.
Flash also helps me increase background separation. Like I said before, slightly underexpose your background and compensate by flashing and exposing correctly your model. You can increase that effect, you can go even further by placing another light just behind your subject and use it as a backlight. And of course, if you want to fill your shadows, if you want an even exposure on your model in any situation outdoors, yes, a flash helps a lot. I shoot on location and when shooting indoors, having a strobe or two helps a lot. Uh, shooting in churches, uh, in museums, the light is not always great, if not mediocre. So you have to do with what you have again. And having two strobes for me is really reassuring because I know I will be able to light my scene to correctly expose my model and to tell the story that I want to tell. Flash is not always the best solution, but I believe that it gives you a bit more options to create. Artificial light and strobes, natural lights, both tell different stories and give different results. Here in pro light conditions, first shoot without flash. I believe it's really a matter of taste. Here I'm using two flashes, one on the left and the other one on the opposite side, on the right side. And sometimes, you know, you can get the best of both worlds. In this shot, I have camera left, my Cirrus L800 watts facing at my model for correct exposure. And of course, I'm using the setting sun as my backlight. Light is so important, never forget that. You can use both artificial or natural light to make amazing images. How do you work? What do you prefer, artificial lights, strobes, or natural light? Tell me in the comments below. There are so many things to say about this subject. I've talked about this in past videos, but do you want me to go a little further in future videos? You know what to do. Playing with light is fun and challenging, and I've been battling with it throughout this video the past half hour. So sorry for the changing in color, light temperature throughout the video. Thanks for watching this video again. Thanks for tuning in. Give me a little thumbs up for support, even if you hated the video. Yes, and please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel. And of course, I will see you guys next week. But until then, please have a good one.